Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. So we finally got to see the uh, one second half of the cold main event. David Benavidez versus Demetrius uh, Andrade. Now, let me start off with this. First of all, Showtime, if this one of y'all last fights, how do y'all get this messed up? You have Jose Benavidez versus Demetrius Andrade. Android and you're supposed to put David on there, man. How did y'all drop the ball with that? I mean, well, I guess it's coming to an end, whatever. So Andre had his hands were fast at first. However, been to be this, I started to notice he picked it up in the third round, and he started catching Andre. Now by the fourth round, he dropped Andre, and. You could tell that when he dropped him, he was hurt by that shot, but he was saved by the bell. First, I thought it could have been a potential slip, but he caught him. Now, by the fifth round, uh, Benavides did look like he was going to stop Andre. However, uh, Andre had a heck of a chin and even a bigger heart, and he kept fighting. He just kept fighting and fighting. Now, David Benavides did drop Andre in the sixth round. And the ref said that he had enough of it. You know, he's not gonna he's not gonna allow that kind of punishment to go on. And Andre's corner stopped the fight. And part of me feel a little bad for Andre because he's had a bad pro promotional deals and everything. And this was like his real big major fight. He was gonna fight originally Billy Joe Saunders, but Billy Joe dropped positive for a control uh, banned substance over there in Europe. So what's next for David Benavidez? Another another stoppage, and I mean at this point, you guys, him and Canelo, y'all got to get it on for Cinco de Mayo. Now I don't know what network it'll be on, probably the Zone, but Al Heyman, wherever they at, I'm sure they'll be okay with either co-promotion or it is being exclusively on the Zone. But it, it's time, it's time. We fans, we want to see this fight. Canelo's been making excuses after excuses. I mean, he's been beat as the interim champion. Canelo, you're undisputed. So why not get it on and finally settle once and for all who, who's the best at 168? Or you can just give up the belts and move up to light heavyweight. But yeah, that Benavidez, Benavidez, he got power in both hands, y'all. That is something that I've been watching over the last several fights, and he does. Hats off to him. I just hope that moving forward in 2024, these fighters stay active, even if, for whatever reason, Canelo refuses to fight him in May, and they end up fighting in September. Hopefully, Benavidez stays busy, man. These fighters rarely fight. Y'all need to be fighting at least two, three times a year at minimum. So, yeah, that's just my quick thoughts. I'll break it down. Uh, their post-fight press conference in the morning. But, yeah, but tell me what y'all think about all this.